I literally just found the god horse. I'm not even kidding. This guy right here is the best horse in Minecraft. And I found him right over here with this hood. And check him out. We are zooming right now. Check his feet out. And I wasn't even prepared for this. I was just going to a gold farm and I saw these guys and I was like, let's check them out. And am I pleasantly surprised? Look at him, he can jump five blocks. Easy. And look at this, this is seriously five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Five blocks jump? Easy. Parkour? Easy. Parkour back? Easy. You look at that precision, man. Precision. I'm a pro parkourist. Or whatever that's called. I also compared this horse to my other fast horse over there and he, I mean, this one is definitely faster. We need a name for him down in the comments. There's no other way I can go on with my day without giving a name to this guy. <laughs> so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions. So a few episodes back, we started this forest over here and it hasn't been touched ever since. So I want some magic going on here, add a couple more trees, spice up the terrain a little bit and <laughs> do a few more stuff over here. So why don't we do that? In the form of a montage. In the form of a montage. Montage. And look at that! Oh, <laughs> this is looking so cool. And now if we walk on this path, for a second it actually feels like we're walking into an actual path. Path? No, an actual forest. And I just love how dense and immersive this is. And look, look at how much variety we have in here. We have giant trees. Especially this tree over here. This is the largest in, in this group of trees over here. However, I'd still love to add more variety in here. I'd like to have a lot of different shapes and styles of pine trees because as of now, they all look generally the same and I want to change that a little bit. I really want to try one of those that have this very long trunk and then the leaves start up top. I try to insert an image in here if I find one, but yeah, those are the kind of trees I want to be adding in here, like a lot of those. Now, as much as I'd love to continue working on this forest, we have other things planned for this episode. So let's head on over, back to our main village. And these type of zombies, I tell you, <laughs> they keep breaking my doors down, I have to keep replacing them. Now, I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys before, but these two builds, like these two, the mountain village and the main village, are very close to each other. So all we gotta do is come here and this part over here, rip tied up, and just float. Glide, I mean. <laughs> Not float, glide, and just wait for our beautiful bulls to appear. Anytime now. And there it is. That's literally how close we are. We don't even need rockets to come here. And as you can see, over here we have some blueprints laid down, and this is what I want to do next. I recently had some really great build ideas regarding this project, and I was really excited to come and build over here again. 
You also might have noticed that there was a lot of scaffolding in my inventory earlier. And that was just because I just smelled a lot of smooth stone. And in case you're wondering, no, this has nothing to do with our builds today. It's just the fact that last episode after I built the pumpkin melon farm, I ran out of basically all of the stuff and I just wanted to restock some of it and and the machine is broken. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Fixed. Um, a piston was stuck apparently. That's what the problem was. Now, did you guys know that one piece of scaffolding on Bedrock Edition can smelt six blocks at a time? How efficient is that? Why would you ever use coal again? Now, to be completely transparent with you guys, this is the next real life day. I don't know why I was just not feeling it yesterday. I did, however, spend some time in my creative test world. And I have something big planned for this structure over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna halt this for now and work on these two builds over here because I know that that is gonna take a fair amount of time. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. I'm sorry for that. So the palette I have in mind for this one is basic oak planks and then we're gonna have stripped spruce logs for the Tudor. And then for the first floor I was thinking stripped birch logs for the walls. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice. It's gonna contrast with with the lower floor and maybe we can use some cobblestone occasionally, I don't know. And then for the roof, I think we can have spruce wood again. Mixed with some spruce planks and slabs is gonna look really nice. For this build though, the palette is a little on the funkier side. It has a little bit more color to it. For the base of the build, we're gonna have a mixture of cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. For the first floor, there's gonna be spruce. And then, if I can find my axe. So as I said, for the first floor, we're gonna have spruce. And alongside spruce, we're gonna have bricks. And then a good old spruce log tutor. And then up top of the roof, we can have a mixture of spruce wood and dark oak wood i don't have that on me currently but yeah that's gonna be stripped and dark oak wood is gonna be stripped too oopsies now i'm gonna tell a secret of mine to you guys and i want to not share it with anyone so i know how to perform this ritual that can get these builds done finished almost instantly so let's get these out of the way and prepare the site for the ritual so what i'm gonna do first is dig a three by three hole a one block deep three by three hole after we've done that we're gonna place the obsidian down so only the middle block is the grass block and then we're gonna surround this thing all the way with obsidian blocks make sure you fill the corners in as well what i'm gonna do now is take my flint and steel and light the four middle blocks just like this now this one is the most important step you're gonna take offering of two raw pork chops and make sure it lands on that grass block over there in the middle and then place the TNT, light all the fires, all four fires should be lit and then light the TNT up and run and run! I got scared there for a second. But check this out, the bills are done. And boy, are they beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Let's take a look at them from afar. Oh, look at that one, that, that, that diagonal one. Love that. Now, this spell relies very much on the one who cast it. It basically puts into the world what you have in your head. So it's very important to have a clear mindset while you perform this ritual. Anyway, so let me show you around. And I'm really hoping we have interiors too. Of course, of course we do. Oh, that's awesome. Because sometimes what happens is if you lose focus or perform the ritual incorrectly, some parts of the build might stay unfinished. And look at this. Exactly what I was afraid of. The interior on this one is not done. We, we almost had like the floors in there, so we almost had it. Almost. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. And by the way, I must say that these two worlds complement each other really good. They look very nice next to each other. Also, we had ended up using white terracotta instead of spruce planks because because white terracotta looked way better. It's also because, you know, <clears throat> because it's lighter in color, it, 
goes along really nicely with the brick and granite mixture on the other side. Anyway, I do love the interior in here, so let's take a look at that now. So for the ground floor of this build, I thought it could be some sort of shop that sells uh, miscellaneous stuff. So it could be selling a bunch of goodies that are popular around town. Here's a barrel of ale, for example. We have some spices over here. Maybe they sell some some food items here and there, perhaps. And this is where the owner of the shop sits. Back here, we have the toilet. So just come in here and take a dump whenever you want. <laughs> Make sure you close the door, though. And just squat over here and... Yeah, don't fall in that. That's That's disgusting. Upstairs though we have the living quarters of the shop owner. We have a windy little staircase here which leads us to the second floor which I must say it's not very comfortable. I just barely managed to squeeze it in there. Anyway here we have a tiny little room with some bunk beds and and yeah that's basically it. We have this tiny little ladder over here which which helps us get onto the bunk bed nice and easily and I thought I thought it was quite cool <laughs> or cute. <laughs> anyway. Over here we have the master bedroom, which is my favorite part of the build. I just love it in here. And having all these warm colors in here makes it feel so much more homey. I just I love it. Eventually we'll have this build over here that I was talking about. And what I'd like to do is terraform this, this part of land to go all the way over there. So we can continue building on that. I think that'll look cool. Now I don't want to reveal more of what my plan is because that would be a lot of spoilers in just one video. But here's what we can do. We can play a guessing game until my next video comes out. So let me know down in the comments what you think I'm going to build next over there. And I shall respond to you accordingly. We can have we can have a little bit of hints and hints and stuff going on in the comments. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are human. And, and I shall see you all in the next one. Goodbye.